Hey YouTube, uh, it's Matt here and I'm gonna show you how to make an M80 out of two bottle caps using Morning Glory sparklers. Uh, it's actually pretty easy to make, uh, but you'll need a few things first. First of all, you're gonna need your Morning Glory sparklers. I'd say about five or six of them. Uh, two bottle caps, a hammer, a nail to get your fuse in, electrical tape, duct tape works but I think electrical tape's a lot better, a uh, fuse, I'm just going to use one of these crackling ball fuses, and paper towel or newspaper or something that you can collect all the powder from the morning glory. So, first off, what you're going to want to do is lay out paper towel and dissemble your morning glory. Um, the easiest way is to rip it off the stick and then rip the little paper off here. And the stuff at the end, you want to get the stuff at the end here the black starter the ignition is for it you want to use that the whole way down to the end here but there's this powder in here that stops it and you don't want to use that so rip it down there find all that bad keep <clears throat> taking all that powder out until you find the silver stuff when you get to the silver that's good so take it to the silver start twisting and twisting and getting all of that good gunpowder I call it there's all those sparklers and here I'll speed it up for you Okay, uh, <clears throat> I'm back here. Finished that. I already have one made right now, so I'm not going to show you the complete full process, but you can try it on your own. It'll be pretty sweet. Okay, now that you got all your powder from all six of your sparklers, uh, five or six, depending on how loud you want the explosion to be, then you're going to want to take your ball cap, get your fuse, I'm, like I said I'm using one of these crackling ball things um, I just take all the balls out, you can, if you have another one you can just put them together it's even louder, but just all I want is the fuse take that out, get your nail and hammer get one side of your uh, <clears throat> cap here, one of your caps I'm gonna use this one you're going to want to get a decent sized hole in it so you can fit your fuse down. And you don't want to have it too big or a lot of the, it might not work because the it might escape. See, there's perfect hole and it's tied there at the end. I don't like that, but it'll work. Now, what you're going to want to do now is... Rip these apart. Get your good, all that powder in there from the sparkler. You're going to want to put it in the other cap without the fuse. Just want to want to. Put it right. Make sure you get it all. Okay, it's just a. Where it got stuck on the paper towel. Okay, you got all the good stuff in there. <clears throat> now, you're going to want to have the fuse in there. You're going to want to put... Oh, there it goes. It fell out. There. You're going to put the two caps together as much as you can. Then you're going to want to take your electrical tape and 
tape all around it, around it, and then you're going to want to go around it. You're going to want to go around this way, all around the fuse, and make sure you go around a lot of times. The more I think the more tape you put on, the louder the explosion, so I like to put a lot of tape on it. And that's pretty much it. I have a finished one here. It's they're not very big caps because I didn't have any big ones at the time and I'm just gonna go put this off and show you what it does. You can see the fuse coming out of that and I taped all around it and yeah I'm gonna go blow this puppy up. And there you have it. Let's go! Party Rock is in the house tonight. Everybody just have a good time. Yeah. And we gon' make you lose your mind. Woo. Everybody just have a good time. Clap. Party Rock is in the house.